Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Demon Souls. Last time we, uh, well, we made it out of the Plague Lands. Well, the first level of the Plague Lands, quite all right. We beat the Leech Monger, but then afterwards we talked to the followers of Gold, and they told us that uh, Patch is over there. I think he's still up there. Yeah, um, kind of trapped Saint Urbane in a hole. So. <laughs> Just to try and fix that before he dies, because I do want to avoid killing any characters by accident. We're going to go back into the Shrine of Storms, sadly, because I really don't like that place. But uh, there we go, the Ritual Path. So uh, the path right after we kill the Adjudicator. I think this is one of the hardest levels, if I recall correctly, in the entire game. I did some preparation, as you saw, we killed ourselves already, so we are in spirit form. And I also brought a bow. Because I know that this place uh, can be a bit of a bitch if you don't have a bow. So, the ritual part. Let me see. I don't think I, I actually equipped the bow. Can I actually equip the bow without losing... Huh. Looks like it. So, I can equip the bow. And then, can I equip the arrows as well? Yeah, that doesn't even take away from my equip burden. So, there we go. Equipped. And now we're going to go outside again. Of course, if you're outside in this gold forsaken land, you're in range of those freaking manta rays. Um, so I can hear them already. Not that I can see them. Ah, there he is. So let's drop down over here. And we got the stone of ephemeral eyes. I'm just going to keep the shield up. Because I hate this place. So yeah, we came from up there. Might be a bit weird. Well, we came from up there, so we can actually go into this tunnel down below. But there's more items where that came from. There we go. Storied warrior soul. Oh god. Woof. Yeah, let's go inside. Seems to be safer inside. Inside is very nice. Ooh. Is that great Robert Blige? I think it is. So we can get some more soul remains. And then we can talk to Blige. Hello there, we meet again. You look terrible. Cheer up. Life is an adventure. <laughs> okay, he sounded really drunk there for some reason. There's somebody I ought to warn you about. A fella who lacks common decency. They call him Patches the Hyena. And he's the one that laid that trap for me. He's the kind of person who'd stab his own mother in the back. If you happen to spot him, you'd do us all a favor by putting him out of his misery. So there we go, uh, Blythe's got to run in with Patches as well, and now he wants to take revenge. Uh, I don't know if he has anything else to say. Have you been to the altar where the Reapers summon shadows? What well, I think someone may be trapped in the lower cavity. I heard them praying for dear life. Pity the poor fool. He probably fell for one of Patches' old tricks. So there we go, he probably fell for some of uh, Patch's old tricks, so that's, he's talking about Saint Urbane who's still stuck in that hole. Um, I don't know if I can actually buy, well, I can't because I don't have any souls at the moment, I just killed myself, but I'm wondering if he actually sells something useful. The kunai might be interesting, okay, don't know why the, the list dropped down there. Um, the kunai might be interesting, but this is even more interesting, so moon, moon shade stone shards. Um, that's really interesting, but I don't have the, uh, the souls. Goes a long way. I know, Blige, I'm sorry. I don't have any souls to spend at the moment. Um, yeah, so this is a door that actually opens up like this. And there we go. The Reaper that he was talking about, that Blige was talking about, is right down there. That was fancy. So the Reaper actually spawns shadows. Which are these uh, transparent looking things. They look a lot more interesting than in the original. Because I think in the original those were just like black thingies with lights at the top of their heads. Jesus Christ. So yeah, and that might be a bit of an issue. Because those things actually, I think they respawn. The Reaper is down there. So this is exactly why we actually brought the bow. Um, I can do a wheel. I think I, I'm a bit safe. So there we go, we actually do quite a bit of damage. I'm actually going to have to kill this guy first, or not. Is he going to attack me or not? Okay. Wide motions. But there we go, dual wield the meat cleaver and we're fine. I'm just going to quickly... Wait, where's the reaper? Oh god. 
Oh god, where's the Reaper? Okay, so the Reaper is coming back to focus. I killed a few of the... Uh... Okay, that was straight over his head. That was straight in his head. I think there's a shadow right next to me. Oh god. <laughs> oh yes. So, um... Oh, one and two, so I can easily take these guys out. That's not the problem at all. And I get a little bit of health back, but the Reaper, I think, went down again. I mean, he's laughing at me, but we'll see where he is. Where is the bastard? I want to kill him before we go down, because there's a few shadows on really annoying places. And um, we don't actually get souls from these guys. I think. Do we actually get souls? Oh, we do actually get souls. 200 souls is actually not that bad. Because I think these guys continuously spawn. I mean, they're not that big of a threat, but... <laughs> Still, it's annoying. Ah, oh, the Reaper is down there. So, let's take care of those final shadows. If you hear some background noise, my uh, neighbor started, uh, well, decided to start mowing his lawn at a, on a Sunday, so... Let's just kill that Reaper over there. I think we should be able to finish him off there, yeah. And there we go, that kills all the shadows in one go. So as long as we have an eye on that Reaper, we should be able to kill it in about seven arrows, I think that was. Could probably go for less, because um, I think I missed a few. I missed that last one as well. Ooh, yeah. I'm not going to even try to jump that. I actually got some of those uh, poisoned Q knife from that corpse over there, so that might come in handy. What's this? Is this a button? Ah, I thought this was an item, but this is a lantern. Is that a button? Is that a button? You are beautiful. Thank you. I, I mean, I'm gonna... Yeah, thank you. Fine. That is a lovely message to see. Um, let's go down. Because again, we're coming up to the parts of the game that I know, remember nothing about. This is just completely refreshing my memory. So I know I need to kill those Reapers to kill the Shadows. And I actually don't know... Ooh. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's where Patches is. Okay, I kind of remember that. So there's another follower of gold here who is dead. So that... I mean, Patches really isn't a good guy, is he? Um, other than that, I'm actually going to check out... I think I can open up this door somehow as well. There's a button for it. We got... Ooh, a moonshade stone shard. That's a really long thing to say, but... Okay, we also... Ah, wait. If I go up here, I probably can get that item on the other side. There's an unknown warrior soul over here. And then all the way at the top. This looks very ominous. Aha! Uh -huh. And that's where I need to thank my fellow players for, because I... Yep, yeah, there we go. Fine message. There we go. But first, there's an item over here that I want to grab. Oh! Okay. Um, there was also a trap, so that thing on the other side is not a button. That's not a button. That's a hole where you can shoot arrows through. Um, so... Where does this lead? I have absolutely no idea. Oh, hi. Uh, hi. Um. So I'm guessing... Uh. Oh, wow. I actually got hit by the... I think I'm dead. Am I dead? Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. I got hit by the Manta Raid, and I overcommitted to doing two attacks, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, no problem, let's do this again. So yeah, the Reaper does respawn, so I need to kill him every single time. Not that that's the end of the world or something, but... Reaper actually uh, drops Moonshade Stone... Jesus Christ, that's a word. A Moonshade moon 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 Stone Shard as well. And I'm actually gathering a lot of souls in this level. Because I remember this level just because I know this was a really good farming spot. I actually need to reopen this. That's interesting. Uh, but other than that, I now equip the Adjudicator Shield. And my souls are over there. So, there we go. Let's retrieve those. Damn it. I really want to fight him out in the open. 
But uh, from over here, that's not gonna work. I also don't see what's up. Did he just one shot me? Okay then. Never mind. So that means that armor doesn't really matter at this point. Um, that is annoying. I'm wondering if I can actually just go and kill the Reaper manually, but that is. That sounds like me wasting souls, so I'm not gonna do that. There we go, kill them again. And we actually get 3,000 souls for that, because we get the combined total of every single shadow that dies as well. I don't know if they are actually unlimited. They actually keep spawning those uh, Moonshade Stone Shards as well. I pronounced that correctly this time. Let's try this one more time. I feel like I might be in over my head here just a little bit. But uh, let's do this. And then grab my souls at least. I mean, I think if I can get a good backstab on this guy, I should be fine. The problem is, is that those manta rays are... There we go. And there we go, we got another backstab. And now uh, one more slash, there we go. Should be careful, but there we go. Bladestone shard. Should be getting an item here as well, but this guy's gonna fire at me. There we go. And then we can grab this soul, and that's about it. Although there is a path over- oh, gold. Okay then. Okay. Okay, we made it this far. Might as well try this. So there's a pathway, and there's a crystal lizard. <gasps> yeah, okay. For some reason, I pushed back to roll, and for some reason, she decided to dive off the edge. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's 20,000 souls down the drain. <laughs> ah, okay. That wasn't really good, was it? Yeah. Ah, a bit too close to the edge there. God damn it, this part. I hate this part. Just, I mean, cliff faces are one of the laziest things that you can design, in my opinion. Just because it's so easy to make things difficult just because of the extra added problems you have with footing and stuff like that. But there we go. Fine. So there we go. First backstab. Might want to also retrieve my souls. Jesus Christ. I knocked him on his ass. Oh wow. <laughs> just okay. I not only knocked him off his ass, I straight out killed him and pulled him off the edge. That was nice. Now, I'm still unsure about what to do here. I think the crystal lizard is too low for me to actually get. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Go back. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Don't roll off the edge with it. I'm gonna keep the shield, you know what, I'm quickly gonna equip the purple flame shield again. I heard another... No, I thought there was another thing being fired at me. Ow! Okay, there was. <laughs> God damn it, never mind, adjudicate a shield it is. What is this? I don't... Ah! Ow! Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna heal up, because I'm gonna die if we get hit with another one. Okay, I got hit with another one. There we go, white arrows and white bow- Ooh, I think this is one of the best bows in the game. If I recall this correctly. I forgot that was over there. Ow. Those manta rays can seriously go fuck themselves. There we go, okay. We got out of that pretty okay, I still have passive healing on. So we should be fine. Let's go back down. We actually get, got some white arrows as well. I don't actually know what those white arrows do. What's special about those? 
So an arrow made from gnarled wood, a legendary weapon used with the white bow. Extremely high attack power to use arrows, a bow must also be equipped. So if we go over here then. A longbow made of gnarled wood with its two intertwined strings. This legendary weapon is said to be impossible for a human to handle. Extremely long range. So the requirements for this thing are actually... Ooh, 30 strength, which is not a problem for us at the moment, I think. Because, uh, no, we're actually only at 26 strength, but also 24 dexterity, so we won't be using this anytime soon. But yeah, I think it is one of the most powerful sh uh, bows in the game. So, um, there's a few ways we can go, but most importantly, there is, yeah, this place. Patches. Hi, Patches. Let's have a little chat. Oh, hello again. Hey, don't turn a cold shoulder. I didn't mean to do you wrong, really. Come on now. We've got better things to fret about. That pit there is filled with treasure. But uh, I'm having a little trouble getting to it myself. Uh, go on, take a look. There are more riches than you could dream of. <laughs> He looks really, really cheeky, doesn't he? More riches than you can dream of, as long as you go into the hole. Um, I'm actually gonna hold off just a second. I mean, nah, that, that little sliver of health isn't gonna make a difference, right? So let's swap over to the purple flame shield. There we go, we're basically full health. There's another door over here. Um, and what you can do is just head up to the hole. So if you do this, yeah, a cutscene starts. Because it looks rather, rather deep, doesn't it? We can't really jump down there ourselves. But if we get a kick from Patches, we're actually just kicked down there ourselves. Take your time starving to death. Then I'll sell every last trinket off your corpse. <laughs> so that actually means that there is a way to get back up. Because he can get in to get the trinkets of our corpse. Now, as you can see, there's somebody over there, so there's Saint Urbane, if I recall, yeah, there he is, the Bat Phantom. Do want to be careful, because I don't know what actually triggers this guy. For the moment, he doesn't seem to see me, but I do really need to be careful here. So, hello, Saint Urbane. Heavens, did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. He fooled me, and now I am stuck here. The reverberations seem to suggest that we are connected to the outside. A fearsome dark phantom stands between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. Pray with me. Umbasa. Umbasa indeed. And as you can see, we're now actually wearing his clothes. So the uh, the saint clothes. Well, I and the I mean, but have no pray with me. I feel like a, a man of the cloth as himself would be nice enough to actually introduce himself. But yeah, this is Saint Urbane. Um, but now it's up to us to kill the man that is in front of the door. And the man that is in front of the door is a bit of a dick. Because he's a red phantom. Is this the first red phantom that we're actually facing off against? I think it might actually be. There we go. First backstab. And then I think I can actually just dual wield. Yeah, he can't really stand the heavy... The heavy slams of the meat cleaver. There he goes. Three hits and he's down. Well, that was a nice animation for a red phantom to die. That was definitely the first one. Ooh. Moonshade stone chunks. A black eye stone. What does that do? Used to invade distant connected worlds. So, it's taken from a black phantom and evidence of your corruption. In that, you assume soul form. After dying, you may use this item to invade one of the countless disconnected worlds. In other worlds, you manifest as a black phantom. Defeating the host of another world will restore your corporeal forms. So you could use this instead of a stone of a female eyes and kill another player, and then you get your body back. But, uh, yeah, we're nice people, so we're not going to do that. There's some really squishy noises in the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's like slugs riding in the in the background. So that doesn't really sound really good, does it? Um, so now we can open up the door. I'm actually wondering if Saint Urbane actually has something to say now that he's basically free. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of the aforementioned phantom? God has chosen you. And for that we are thankful. 
Umbasa. Still no introduction. You are a dick, Saint Urban. God has chosen Umbasa. Okay, so that I'm, ass I'm assuming he's free then. Um, there's actually an item up there. You, I don't think I can. Can I? Can I get that? Because there's, yeah, it, it's from a knight that tried to get out through that hole, but I don't think I can get up that. Can I actually hit it with an arrow? I have no idea. No, that goes straight through. I shouldn't be wasting my arrows. Okay, I'm assuming you can drop down that hole then, right on top of the pillage, and grab it that way, but uh, let's open up this door. There we go, Umbasa, trophy for that as well, to escape Patch's trap. And then if we go... Okay, that sounded like slugs again. If you go all the way up, there's another dead knight. Somebody who apparently didn't manage to get through the door. But all the way up. And there's another button here. And this is the door. Right behind Patches, right? There he is. Hi, Patches. Hey, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, the... A man's got to make a living, right? Here, look, I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. Have this as a token of my friendship. <laughs> Not bad, right? So yeah, Batches is a dick, but we get a gash resistance ring of... I think we already had one, but there we go. <laughs> Come on. Let's be friends. What do you say? I mean, we can no actually need to kill drag him. Drag each other down. But I'm not going to because he actually sells really good items. So uh, no need to drag each other. Yeah, I can actually access his shop at the moment, which is something that I would like to do. Um, instead, let's go back to Blight, and I'm gonna sell, buy some more arrows because I'm definitely gonna need them. Now that I have the souls, I might as well do so. Can actually buy fire arrows from him as well and holy arrows. Ooh. I'm actually gonna do so. I have a lot of souls at the moment. Um, so that's 10 is 2000, so might as well buy 30. That's about 6 or 40. That's 8000, right? There we go. Then we can buy a bunch of fire arrows as well. Ooh, is that all I can buy? 19. They're only 50 a pop. Oh, I'm at my uh, equip limit. That's the problem. Okay, so I have enough souls, but I'm at my equip limit. So that is fine, I suppose. All done. Good day. Be Goodbye. sure not to get yourself killed. Oh, thank you, Blight. That's a lot more friendly than <laughs> what he says when you're uh, not uh, when you haven't bought anything. That's uh, actually a funny difference. So, with that out of the way, we need to press the button that opens up that door. And I think it might be right behind the altar and we just didn't walk behind there. Yeah, there we go. There's the button. It did take a while for the button to go down apparently, because our character was already standing there. And that opens up the door back to the basically the other side of the waterfall where we started. So we're just going deeper and deeper down. That makes me think about the fact that we actually got those holy arrows, so might as well equip those. I actually don't know how to switch... Wait, how to switch... Can I switch like this? No. Ah, it's R1. Okay, R1 switches the uh, the arrow type. Interesting. Okay, back to the sword regardless. Ooh. Are these... This is a... Ooh, these are death manta rays. I rejoice! Uh, let's send that to storage, and that is more healing items, so that's fine. As long as I can send items to storage directly, that's actually absolutely fine by me. And uh, yeah, let's laugh at all the dead manta rays. They're still around here, and now we're going into another... Oh, gold. Okay, so two hits for these guys. Ooh, and they're trying to hit me there. Oh god, heat up. Oh, cold.
Oh god, there's one incoming. Okay. So I think we're good again. I can block that. Damn, there's a lot of them. Let's grab the corpse. As, well, as long as I can take a look out for everything over here. So that was pretty happy. There we go. Let's block that. And just keep the shield up over here as well. And then this guy. Ooh, there's two of them. I should probably go back up again. Ooh, they actually hit pretty hard, but I'm now at the other side of them, so I think I might just heal and roll, because I think I heard another one leave. Yeah, there we go. And then, might as well hit them. Ooh, yeah, I'm dead. Damn it. Okay, so, note to self. Um... Yellow skeletons don't, um, you know, don't stagger. Ah, oh, damn it, yeah. I had a sliver of health left after that barrage. Fucking hell. Okay. This is not going well, is it? So, just powering through seems to be the best option here. So that is that. I don't think any one of them fired at me. Now that one has, but shield. The shield actually blocks that perfectly. I thought that was going to be magic damage, but it seems to be all physical. There we go. Okay. Is he still mad at me or... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to try... Oh, fuck. Uh... There we go. Got one in the head. Should lure him over here. And be just one. Okay, so that's one. That golden skeleton is slowly coming. I'm gonna get hit one more time over there. And then I can turn around. There we go. Backstab. Circle around. And I kill him in one go. I actually want to grab that item over there. This is stupid, but... There we go. Bladestone shards. Uh, do I heal up? I think I'm going to heal up with a crescent. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's keep an eye out for the mantle race. That should be A-OK. -okay. I heard something, but... Yeah, there we go. Damn it. Ooh, wow, he just... Shield up. Heal up, please. Heal up, please, thank you. And then let's go through the fog. Okay. Again, from what I recall from this level, I think this is one of the, the most annoying parts, which is saying something, judging from the amount of times I've died so far. Um, but... Let's grab this, soul remains. And there's more phantoms over here, so more of those shadows. Shadows, I should call them. Um, but I think the Reaper, you can actually see the Reaper just about. But right now we actually have boots that can actually fire energy beams, so... That's another shadow. Where is he? Oh, what? What the fuck just happened? I think I need to need to move back. That was... That was weird. Like, the first time he didn't seem to actually hit me. Okay, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> so that was... That was something. But I'm pretty sure... So the... Sh the Reaper itself is down at the bottom. 
I don't really know exactly where. I'm just gonna slowly heal up there. Um, get the late Moongrass back equipped and now. Okay, so there's another shadow over there. There we go. So three swipes, dual-handed kills these guys. Where is the Reaper? So there's another shadow over there. As long as I don't trigger him, he should be fine, I think. Uh, but the Reaper is... Ooh. There's another shadow in there. Where's the Reaper? Oh! What the... F okay. That's not good, is it? Because I think that means that the one up top is also resurrected now. Where is the Reaper? I should probably just hurry along. There he goes. He goes off. I think there was another... We saw another shadow in the corner there, right? Um, so I think that's... Oh god! There we go. Okay. What did I see? Oh, there he is! Did he just one-shot me with magic? Okay, so he's there in the corner. Damn it, I need to go all the way back down there now. Yeah, he just one-shot me with magic. Okay. Okay. So I know where he is now, at least. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. Fucking hell. Come on, buddy. How? What? He just tracked me through my roll. What the fuck? Yeah, let's go down. Oh, wow. He just killed me with his roll. Oh, fuck off. Seriously. Oh, fuck off, game. That's that. That old man. Oh, how did that even hit my shield? Yeah, there we go. Okay. One more nip on the health. Okay. I don't care about that, that item drop anymore. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so I kind of know where he is. The, the Reaper, I mean. He's right below me, so I do need to drop down a level. Um, I'm wondering if I can... No, I can't. That is probably not good. Yeah, these guys don't really care about magic defense, apparently. There we go. There we go, okay. That's the first one down. Now I need to hurry down and grab that one in the middle. Or if, if there is one in the middle. Wait, where's the second one? Ah, oh, there he is. So he's down there in the corner. Question is, can I see him from here? I think I might need to be on the stairs to see him. Yeah, he's over there. Oh, I, I just killed him. I think he dropped off, right? Ah, there we go. Oh, that second delay. That was annoying. Okay. 
Okay. And I think that's it. Yeah, I know I've said that a lot, but this is supposed to be it. Now I can actually go into the boss fight. Because the boss fight is actually the level underneath us here. Um, which I think you can just... Wait, what the hell was that? That was a screaming noise. I probably shouldn't be just relaxing just yet. Or that might have been the boss. I have no idea. Um, the question is... Oh, is there still an outdoor section? I really can't remember. Is there another outdoor section? As if there... Oh god! Wait, what? I just turned around. Ghost people! There's ghost people! There we go. Okay. Ghost people. There, there were sneaky ghost women over here. But that was... That was not nice. That's definitely not nice. Let's just heal that again, because I don't want to... I don't, don't want to risk anything now. But there is still going to be an outdoor section. Oh, crap. Oh, this is just... What is this going to be? It's definitely death. There we go. Let's just block all of those shots. It's just like, yeah, okay, just all shoot all of me. All of them shoot at me. Okay, let's just rush. Okay, we're back inside. That was not too bad. There were no skelly, skellies. But I don't trust anything now with those. Oh, fuck. Okay. I can't get past this guy. Well, that doesn't seem to be that much of a problem. Okay. But there is another Reaper then. That is not good. Where are the invisi people? Oh, and I know that the boss fight is down there. You don't care about arrows, do you? No, he doesn't. He really doesn't. Oh, no. Second strike. Second strike. I think I strike from left to right, yeah, so that's not that much of a problem. I'm gonna keep the shield up, though. Because if there's one of those stabby ladies... Oh, hi. Hi. Okay, that was... Way too close quarters for my taste, and a sight is stuck in the wall. Um, Alright, is this it? Because I'm, I'm terrified now to even do the boss. Is there no shortcut in this level, by the way? Because I can't really remember. Is this another trap? No. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Story of the so I have way too big of a weapon to be trapped in here. Oh, this is not... Oh, no. There's another... There's another area. I thought we were done. I thought we were done. I really thought we were done. The slugs. Uh, but I, I think there's also invisi, invisi women. Yeah, this is beautiful. That is true. The level looks gorgeous. But, um... What are those... I don't know what those lights are. I don't trust any... I can't remember this area. I really can't remember this area. The slugs are trying to attack me. I feel like this is a trap. Okay, so that was definitely an explosion. So the lights explode. Fair enough, now I'm down here. <laughs> I can kill some slugs. But the lights are explosions, and they seem to be... Triggering on me grabbing items. So I'm just gonna move. Just gonna move. Just gonna move. Oh god, that's not moving. That's definitely not moving. That's me stuck stuck on the floor. I'm, I'm just gonna move. I'm just gonna move. I'm just gonna move. Oh god. 
Oh god, there's a lot of slugs. Ow. Okay, so they do hurt, but not that much. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. If there are any of those stabby ladies here, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. Slugs down. They give me upgrade materials. That is up. Oh, I can't get up here. And there's more bomb lights. I'm gonna keep the shield up. What's this? Oh god! No! 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 no. Okay, I survived. I'm okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, sticky white stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. What? What, were they guarding something? Oh, wait, there's a... I think I moved the corpse. Oh. 4.7. Hiltless. Hiltless and the Ronin Ring. Okay, fair enough. But the fact that those lights can go into the tunnels, that's not really nice, is it? Is this another corpse guarded by a stabby lady? So you lie your soul. Nothing in the back. Because I don't trust anybody anymore. Okay. So there's a few more lights. And I think I'm back where we... Oh god. Oh god. Lights. Lights. I don't like lights. Lights explode me. They might actually be just at that health level. So I'm, I'm just going through all my healing items. Which was to be expected. I, I really hate this level. So that's a dead end. So these guys are still around here. There's another open area over here. Ah. Okay. Now we're back up top. Okay. I don't know what triggers those lights. I think it's specific items that triggers those lights. Because I just passed by one directly and they didn't really react to me. Oh, there's a lot of dead people here. No, no, I'm not gonna... Please don't give me any stabby ladies. Try stealth, yeah, okay. I kind of forgot to pick up one item that would be really handy for this boss fight. But it is what it is. I have a, a few more healing items left, but it's, it's not a lot. I'm gonna even put up the new moon grass. Um, let's see if I can max up my... Because I don't need the bow anymore for this. Can I max... I don't think I even brought better armor. It's all physical, so... This is going to be pretty good. I guess. Okay. 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 Here we go. Wait. Wait, this is the boss fight, right? This is the... This, I'm not going to take that item. Because uh, I know the stealth works with this boss fight because the boss is blind and I think it's the statue over there, yeah. There we go. Yeah, uh, he's definitely waking up, isn't he? This is this is not gonna be good. He has some lovely feet though. Lovely shiny whites. So this guy is blind. But he's not deaf, so he kind of knows where you are, but not entirely. There is a stealth ring in this game, <laughs> um, and I kind of forgot to pick it up. So I think that first attack is meant to actually show you that he's blind. And as long as you move slowly, I don't think he can actually detect you. Because he just tries to hit whatever he can hit. If I can get behind him. I'm actually not doing as much damage as I thought I was going to do. Yeah, that seems like an explosion attack. Oh, wow. Get up. Get up. There we go. Oh, 
wow. Yeah, I can't, I can't afford double hitting. I'm gonna heal in his crotch. As you do. Okay, so that was pretty good. Okay, so I can heal up now. That's just the explosion attack. Trying to focus here, so that's how I'm pretty quiet at the moment. Old here. So we can't actually go through the pillars properly. Oh wow, that was a really quick attack. Get up. And just heal up when you can. That was making noise, I'm assuming. Oh wow, I really need to get up his ass. Uh, dude. Moved out of the way of that. Okay, explosion attack. Right in his face. Let's use the pillars to our advantage a little bit. I don't know if he heard me. Oh, he definitely did. He definitely did. Seal up. Yeah, okay, he doesn't know where I am anymore. Got him pretty good there, he's almost down, I think a strike with two three might finish him off here. There we go. Let's go back a little bit. Because he's gonna combo probably. Is he gonna jump? He's gonna jump. There we go. We got him. Whew! First try. That was really good. I'm gonna just get out of the way. I don't know if he explodes again. I don't know what was what that was. There we go. Old hero down with some uh, classic combat, if I might say so. So dodging and just hitting when the when you can. Let's grab this item now, or can't I? Oh, there we go. And we get the legendary warrior soul. Damn, that was a that was a fight. Just with the added stress on having to do the entire level again, that was that was definitely something. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Not the hardest boss, if I, I'm honest. As long as you can survive one hit, you should be fine. And that is holy arrows, more holy arrows. We got definitely got plenty of those now. So let's touch this. And uh, next up, we're actually onto a pretty easy boss fight. I mean, I said that with the Dragon Gold as well, and we died more to that thing than to any other boss so far, so uh, I should probably shut up. But let's touch the Archstone. So the Archstone of the old hero demon. The hero's remains were cleansed with bright water and offered to the Storm King, a beacon for countless storm beasts whose broad wings blacken the sky. So that's gonna be up next. But to wrap up, we're gonna quickly use the um, the abundance of souls that we just gathered with the... Where is she? The Maiden Black? There we go. Hello, Maiden. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Yeah, we definitely do. Then touch the demon inside me. Still sounds very dirty. Let's just level up a little bit. Uh, let's put strength up to... 28 is not bad, 20, 30 is just such a nice round number. And then let's put one more point into Faith, and that's most of our souls gone. So 30 strength, that's a good point to be at. 
um, and Fate 18, yeah, we need to push that up a little bit more, but we should be good for now. Um, the other things, yeah, I definitely need to repair my equipment as well. That's going to cost a pretty penny, so 500 souls. Uh, and other than that, we don't really need anything. We're going to have to do some inventory management next time. But, uh, yeah, I think we've done enough for one episode, so I'm going to take a little break. I'm kind of exhausted from having to do that level over and over again. But thank you guys, and also for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode of Demon Souls. And, uh, yeah, stay nutty. Yeah, bye.